Welcome to the tutorial on how to take a test in Blackboard. A test or survey can be set up in a variety of ways. It all depends on how the instructor wants the test viewed by you and how they want it graded. In this particular example, I will illustrate how to take a test in the most generic format. Once a test is ready to take, it will show up in your testing area. To enter a test, click directly on the title of the test. Then select OK to begin. In this sample, the instructor has set up the test for me to take multiple times. I have already taken this test once. This is now telling me that I have two attempts left. To take the test, click OK. Once entered into the test, depending on how the instructor has set it up, I can get some information about how much time I have to take the test or how many attempts I have still left. In this case, the instructor has set it to be a timed test. The time is indicated in the upper right hand of the window. I can now scroll down and begin to answer each of the questions. To answer a question, make your choice, and then select to save. Once saved, click OK, and then continue on with the rest of the questions. It is important to save every single time you respond to a question. This way, your questions or your answers are saved to Blackboard. This is great because sometimes there may be some technical issues you might experience while taking a test. Saving each question or response allows the questions to be saved to Blackboard so that if you experience technical issues, you can return and then begin the test again from where you left off. Some questions allow you to have multiple responses. These are usually indicated with boxes for your selections. Other selections only have single responses, which are indicated by circles. Yet others have you type in your response, or choose from pull-down menus. To submit the test, click the Submit button in the lower right-hand corner. If you accidentally forget to respond to some of the questions, Blackboard would indicate which ones are still missing. It is best to not submit a quiz until all responses have been saved. Depending on how the instructor has set up the feedback or viewing of the quiz after you submitted it, you will be able to see your score right away or return back to the quiz area to review your scores at a later date. This ends our tutorial on taking a test in Blackboard.